Rene and Alicia Corbier are teenage swimming stars at the Indigenous Games, competing in multiple events. I'm really excited to race and just show off what we can do. And we're hoping to represent Team Ontario well, try and win yeah. the, with our team. <laughs> they often win medals, but their swimming success came from tragedy. Their father, Gary Corbier, was a strong swimmer, but in bad weather, still drowned. It'll be 13 years in August um, when uh, their dad died. Their mother, Kimberly Murray, immediately signed up her girls for swimming lessons. Alicia just turned three, Renee was five, and I really didn't want my kids to be afraid of the water. Studies show the need for lessons and water safety training is particularly acute in Indigenous communities, where, compared to the national average, people are up to 10 times more likely to drown. In the northern communities, every community is essentially beside some, some sort of body of water, lakes, rivers. Um, they're, they're people of the water. A Red Cross program that has been running for a few years, largely in Alberta, shows much promise. Young people in several dozen Indigenous communities have been taught swimming and safety skills and now, in turn, are becoming teachers. So we're starting to see those, those youth take that leadership role, and I think that that's going to help definitely save some lives down the future. The Corbier sisters are among the voices calling for more funding so hundreds more communities can access training and reduce the drowning rate for Indigenous people. I think it's awful, and I think the best way to prevent that is just to educate people on water safety and just helping them learn how to swim. Seeing the rates, seeing the lives that are being endangered, like. Someone needs to step up and solve the issue. It's not, it's not going to solve itself. To them, that goal, saving lives, more important than any medal. Howard Gould, CBC News, Toronto.